ancient Egyptian coins, coins left behind by aliens, and even proof of the lost city of Atlantis. Here are 10 of the most bizarre coin discoveries ever. Number 10. The Coins of Egypt Archaeologists in Egypt have stumbled upon one of the coolest gold coins ever. This magnificent gold coin is 2200 years old and depicts the ancient King Ptolemy III, who just so happened to be an ancestor of the infamous Queen Cleopatra. The coin has the king's image on one side and a strange symbol with some markings on the other, just like any typical coin you'd find today. It was discovered during the excavation of a Greco-Roman building in the north of Egypt, along with some pretty interesting stuff like pottery vessels, bronze tools, fragments of stone engraved with mysterious hieroglyphics, and even some terracotta statues. As for the coin and the ruler whose face it bears, Ptolemy III apparently ruled Egypt in the 3rd century BC, but the coin would have been made after he had died, probably by King Ptolemy IV, as a way to memorialize his father. As of right now, we have no idea how much money the coin is currently worth, but it could be a lot. Number 9. Ancient Coin Stash Archaeologists were recently left scratching their heads after they discovered a hoard of around 119 coins inside a collapsed building in Corinth, Greece. Corinth was an ancient harbor city, which today still holds many ancient relics and secrets. Archaeologists found the coins while excavating a collapsed building near what would have been an ancient workyard. The earliest coin inside the hoard dates back to around the time that the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great died, and the earliest coins came all the way from the Byzantine Empire, no later than 518 AD. Most of the coins are made from bronze, and they weren't found with any human remains or other interesting artifacts, which is kind of the reason why archaeologists are so confused. The building collapsed and nobody ever went through its ruins looking for the stash of coins. Remember, this happened in the medieval times, when people actually had trunks full of coins just like you see in the movies today. According to Paul Scotton from the California State University Long Beach, the coins were found only about 12 inches, 30 centimeters below ground level under a broken tile roof. Hundreds of years ago, this would have been close enough to the surface that anyone could have climbed through the rubble and retrieved the coins. Either someone thought they were cursed, or whoever had stashed them simply forgot to go back for them. Is it possible that all these coins were considered bad juju? Number 8. The Coin of Atlantis the mystery of Atlantis may have just been solved because of a rare coin discovered dating back 2400 years that directly matches the original description of the city of Atlantis by the Greek poet Plato. This unique coin was allegedly discovered more than 20 years ago back in 1996. As reported by Express News, a professor of geology named Mark McMenamin found the gold coin in Carthage. It was minted in 350 BC and he interpreted the depictions on the coin as showing the legendary city of Atlantis. Apparently on one side of the coin was a map that looked just like the ancient world, with Asia on one side and the American continent on the other, and a mysterious landmass in the middle that very well could have been Atlantis. Plus, the coin was supposedly minted during the same decade in which Plato unveiled the truth of Atlantis in his writings. Of course, the coin was found 20 years ago and Atlantis has still not been uncovered, but that doesn't mean it's not sitting below the surface of the ocean just waiting for someone to find it. Before we continue, I just want to say thanks for checking out the channel. If you're digging the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Number 7. The Alien Coin Our next coin is a little hard to believe, but it's intriguing nonetheless. A mysterious coin was found during some housing renovations in Egypt, depicting the head and shoulders of an alien being. In fact, the alien being appears to be wearing a toga, the same kind of ancient dress that would have been worn by the ancient Roman politicians. This could suggest that there was an otherworldly being in Roman Egyptian society that held a prominent place in government. The alien appears to have large hollow eyes, a giant bald head, and extremely thin cheeks. Unfortunately, this extraterrestrial coin has not been authenticated at all, and nobody knows for sure if its discovery was part of an elaborate hoax or what. Some claim that the coin is proof that aliens were here once and will be back in the future and others claim it's all a bunch of made-up nonsense. This is one of those discoveries that's a bit too close to call, especially since mainstream scientists refuse to talk about it. What do you think? Were aliens part of our world at this time, or is it all a bunch of baloney? Number 6. Ancient Coins and the Bird Watcher A bird watcher got a lot more than he bargained for after discovering nearly $1 million in ancient coins. This happened in eastern England when an anonymous bird watcher was watching a common buzzard fighting a couple of magpies. While the bird watcher observed the birds, he noticed something shiny sticking out of the ground. 
He bent down and picked it up and immediately realized he was holding a gold coin. After doing a bit of digging in the area, he ended up finding over 1,300 coins, worth a small fortune, all of them dating back to around 50 AD. Can you imagine just enjoying your day watching the birds and then finding this treasure? The coins were from the days of the ancient Celts, right around the time that the Celtic Queen Boudicca orchestrated her famous uprising against the occupying Romans. As you can guess, the unnamed lucky man who found the coins is choosing to stay anonymous, as he may be coming into a significant amount of treasure money. Number 5. Old Israeli Coins An amazing collection of rare gold coins has just been found in the ancient Mediterranean port town of Caesarea, in the north of Israel. What's truly fascinating about this hoard of rare coins is that scientists believe they were likely buried and left behind by crusaders who conquered the area 900 years ago and then never returned. The discovery was announced recently by the Israel Antiquities Authority. 24 of the gold coins and a gold earring were found inside of a small bronze pot wedged between a pair of stones inside the well of an ancient house inside an even more ancient neighborhood. The coins were very obviously stashed, and they probably came from the year 1101, when the Crusader Kingdom of Jerusalem massacred almost every last citizen in the town. What this means is that either the Crusaders stashed the gold there because they simply couldn't carry it, or the people who lived in the house stashed their gold when the Crusaders came into town and started murdering everyone, then were massacred or sold into slavery and never able to retrieve their riches. Either way, it was a pretty decent hiding spot. Number 4. Canada's UFO Coins The next coin wasn't exactly found, but it's still pretty cool and deserves a spot on this list. While Alaska gets a lot of attention for its frequent UFO visits, the country of Canada is just as popular on the intergalactic tourist circuit. In fact, there are so many UFOs that visit the skies of Canada that a limited edition coin has just been minted from the Royal Canadian Mint displaying the infamous UFO sighting of May 20, 1967. This happened in Manitoba when a guy named Stefan Michalak spotted several UFOs flying through the sky. Not only did he see them, he walked up to the craft and touched it. It was extremely hot and his presence must have scared the aliens away because after he approached, they blasted off back into the sky. His clothes caught fire and he was left with some pretty severe burns from the hot gas the spaceships left. So not only was there a witness of the alien encounter, there's also physical evidence. This would end up becoming one of the best documented unidentified flying object encounters in Canada. And now you can pick yourself up a coin with the event depicted on it. Pretty cool little token of the time if you ask me. The UFO incident of 1967 was taken so seriously that the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, the Canadian Forces, and even United States officials carried out investigations, all of which turned up nothing. Or did they find something the public has yet to know about? Number 3. Mysterious Spanish Coins A hiker traveling through the Utah desert found a couple of coins back in 2019 that really don't make any sense to researchers. This happened in the month of September in the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. The coins that the hiker discovered appeared to have been minted in the 1290s. Now, if you have your history dates handy, you'll know exactly why this doesn't make sense. The coins were Spanish, and yet Christopher Columbus didn't discover the New World until 1492. This forces the question, how did Spanish coins end up in Utah 200 years before the Spanish ever made it to America? But wait, it gets even more mysterious. All the original Spanish trips to America arrived in the West. They wouldn't have been anywhere near Utah. The first Spanish conquistador to ever visit Utah, according to National Parks Traveler, was Francisco Vasquez de Coronado, back in the early 1540s. One of the best theories we have right now for how these coins ended up in the middle of Utah is that they fell out of a coin collector's pocket. Yeah, that's pretty flimsy, but there's really no other logical explanation. What do you think? Does history have it wrong? Number 2. The Jersey Hoard The Jersey Hoard is one of the biggest collections of coins ever discovered, not only in Britain, but also across the entire world. There were about 70,000 coins and pieces of jewelry discovered by two guys with metal detectors back in 2012 and the discovery has been raising all kinds of interest in the scientific community. And while there was a lot to digest inside the Jersey Hoard, there was one coin in particular that continued to make trouble for scientists years after the hoard was found. This mysterious coin has no obvious origins. It's the strangest one found in the hoard, and experts are saying it has an unusual geometric pattern that has never been seen before. Celtic coin expert Philip de Jersey says even he's stumped by the markings on the coin, and he's an actual coin expert. Of course, everything in the hoard has a Celtic origin, but there's still a lot to learn about these ancient people. We still don't know why they left 70,000 coins buried under a mound of dirt. 
What we do know is that they're currently worth over $10 million. Number one, the flying saucer French coin. Here we go again with another mysterious alien coin. This one comes from 17th century France and it has UFO hunters screaming that it's 100% proof that extraterrestrials visited France just a few hundred years ago. The ancient coin clearly depicts a circular object that could be a UFO. This is not a new discovery, as the coin's been around for a very long time. So this has given everyone a chance to put their own theory forward. Skeptics claim that the object is actually just a mushroom drifting across the ground, and others claim it's a shield. However, the editor of UFO Sightings Daily has his own interpretation of the French coin. He says that UFO incidents were so commonplace in France and the rest of Europe before the modern age that they actually began printing coins with their mysterious alien friends on them. Unfortunately, this coin is not real currency. It's something known as a French jeton, which were minted between 1856 and 1680 as a type of educational tool to teach common people about money, and also to be used as a money substitute when playing games. Basically, it was the 1700s version of Monopoly money. But still, there's no denying that someone witnessed a UFO and printed it onto one of these coins. What's the rarest coin you've ever discovered? Let me know in the comments and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and come back soon for another amazing video right here on American Eye.